Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So, not a big breakfast. Just fried egg. I did one bread, yogurt, and coffee. So, I was up all night. My, my dad passed away last night. He, uh, I'm not going into work today. I'll get bereavement, bereavement pay or something, so I guess I could take three days, but I'm just taking today off. I got it, my shift covered, so I got a hold of them and told them. Um, well, when I got into work, I didn't know. Around 2 o'clock, my youngest half-brother there. He's like LaFonda and Ian's age, so I mean, me and him, we've never been. Me and Justin, he's still young, but he passed away there a couple years ago. But, we're, anyway, so we don't talk that much, like, you know, like, anyway. He calls. When he calls, I know something's up called from Facebook because of course I keep they're mowing the lawn and the grass is wet they're really making those lawnmowers bad for the person that got to clean them but anyway I got people on Facebook that like the relatives that if something happens down home or like I got my cousin and She'll, she'll let me know, and, you know, I just got people like that. Um, too low. So, I don't follow my half-brother or talk to him, but I had him on, of course, I got him on Facebook because, you know. Anyways, so I guess last week, see, I got up at 7, but went back to bed because I didn't get a, I usually do this at 7, 8 o'clock is bad. People are out and about and... But anyway... I couldn't... I had a terrible sleep last night. Passed away at 11. He texted me at 11. So anyway, when I got to work... He called. And I still had a half hour. I was there a half hour early, so... Dad would have been 87 in July. So, anyway, she says, Dad's in hospital, he's not doing good. they just barely keeping him alive. On oxygen and whatever, and I guess they had to paddle him a couple times, but um, they didn't put him on life support, though. Doctor said he probably wouldn't come out of it anyway. But they had him on oxygen. And then they had another tube or something. That. Sort of like oxygen but it. Blows. Try to blow. I guess. Um, the lung, his lungs was filling up. His lungs was filling up. So anyway. So. I told him he was going back in the room and of course he had to wear a mask and had to shut his phone off. It's all heart monitors and everything, right? So around six, my time, because it was two, so three, four. Oh, what happened was last week, or a couple weeks ago, he was on heart pills, see, but last week he went in because he wasn't feeling good and they changed his heart pills. They changed his heart pills, but it takes a while to work. Like yesterday, because every morning he goes out with his scooter. He's a mobility scooter. He went out on 
first morning drive and they think you must have painted or collapsed or whatever because I guess he passed out and upset a scooter and anyway God that's probably what happened to his lungs he probably it probably fell on him but I'm thinking but anyway I'm just going by what they told me and um So, around, it was six, seven, eight, about nine, because it was six o'clock my time. I called, and he told me that they were taking the mask off of him, not the oxygen, but whatever that pipe is. I said, what? He said, but they just got to wait to see if, because he not breathing good and they have to wait to see if um, the water's going to build up but so he was still in the air but in the morning they were going to uh, move him up to a room or something I don't know but anyway but when Evan texted me, he passed away peacefully because he told, Evan told him, just give him something, him something for uh, the doctor, asked Evan, my brother there, if they should give him something for comfort, you know, and uh, for the night or something, he said, yeah, he didn't want to see him in pain, you know, but I had a feeling he wasn't going to last last night. Something just told me. <clears throat> they were no sense in putting him in life support. He's too old. Doctor didn't really, really want to. The doctors. And at that hospital. They have um. You know how every hospital has like a specialty? And that one, if you, it, like in Fredericton, Moncton, anywhere like that, if you had a problem with your heart, they had their own hospital, but they would send you there. So they had good uh, heart specials at that hospital. So, yeah. So... I can take three days off if they don't want to pay me the thing. I'll, I'll just say, well, I'm taking three days. I'm just going to take one. But I could take three. It's my father. You have to work at the company for a hundred days or something. Well, be six years in August, so... I think I fit that category. And it does say, Alberta law, that three, I could take three days off. But I'm just going to take today off. I'll be in tomorrow. But I can't go to New Brunswick. So if I wasn't scared to fly, I could go, but... Anyway, I will next year. I have to go to Minnow now and see Mum's grave. And then I'll have to get someone to drive me to St. John to see Dad's grave when I'm down there. I got relatives with cars and that. They'll do that for me. Dad went downhill after Justin passed away. He went downhill. He wanted to stay here, but we couldn't keep him.
we couldn't keep him. He was better off with Evan didn't have kids and he had his ex-wife there and his sisters and you know relatives and everything in New Brunswick. He wanted to stay. He was out here in Alberta. See, he was out here. In, but I know Dad. He wouldn't have wanted to be dependent on Evan anyway. He wouldn't want to be dependent on him. No. But Evan got his mother there. And his wife. I didn't know. LaFonda told me they were separated. But they were together since teenagers. They were together for a long time. She, she, she saw the dad like a dad too because they lived, she lived with them and everything. So, and she saw Justin as a brother. So they, they were together since teenagers. So of course she's gonna be there for Evan. So I'm gonna have a cigarette upload. I emailed my pay, my pay person there, told her, asked her about the Hey, and um, they better say yes or I'll take three days off and then I'll just have to find someone for Saturday because the girl I don't work Saturday but they yeah the girl could work tomorrow but because I I could take three days I could say it was pay so they better pay me so I called the supervisor line told her that's how I got it covered because the girl that works the weekend night, she baking last night. And I told her, Dad's in the hospital. And I said, I don't think he's going to make it tonight. I said, can you work tomorrow? I'll let you know. As soon as he passes on, she said yes. So 11 p.m. wasn't too too late because she got home. She left at 10. So I told her, Dad passed away and I'm going to take day off. So I called them this morning and then I emailed my pay clerk, told her that I talked to supervisor and told her that I got my shift covered and anyways, eight, 87, I mean he was almost 90. Would have been nice to see him next year though, but He's always strong as an ox. Never ever seen Dad so fra fragile. He was he was getting fragile here too when he was living here. See, he, he was living out in Red Deer, and Evan and his wife and Justin they all had a they all had a house out there. And then when Evan and his wife moved back home, and Justin was working up in Nisku, like he drove long haul. They got a place here in Leduc, see. But Justin passed away, and Dad wanted to stay in Leduc. He liked Leduc, but it was just. He got ill, I wouldn't have been able. I have to work. I can't afford to get ill. If I got ill, I wouldn't. can't afford it. So. But they better pay me for today, I tell you. I could take three days and if she said no we can't do it they did it with mom but I had to laugh we had we had another supervisor and when mom passed away he he was in that night and I told him I said uh, La Fonda was working there at the time and I said my mom passed away this face to face I said I can't work tomorrow she just passed away like I finished my shift right was only he goes yeah he said and I said LaVonda well I had it covered LaVonda was gonna work I said LaVonda's gonna work for me and uh, he said yeah you'll have to talk to payroll um, if they cover it or not or something I say to myself it's right in our handbook employee handbook you know
like no oh and then his grandmother raised him like a mother and she didn't take he didn't take the day off the next day when she passed away and blah 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 well that's up to you Fred that's not up to me if you're stupid enough he could have taken three days I guess the grandmother raised him and he he was all proud that he didn't miss a day someone passed away like He's like, and she's like his mom. I said, well, that's you, isn't it? That's what I said to him. Well, that's you. That's not me. There's some people. He could have taken three days off. I guess she was out BC or something and drove and... what some people say, right? I said, well, that's you. <clears throat> Just as long as I got my shift covered. And they pay me for that day. Anyhow, so I'm going to go have this cigarette upload and then go lay down and just watch, tea, watch whatever and just lay in the bed and I, I had a feeling, I had a feeling he wasn't going to make it. I remember when I was young, me and my neighbor Joanne, when mom and dad separated, I was 10. So about, I was 11, 12. And we were going to go visit or whatever, we walked, right? So, be on a weekend. And dad was in his Audrey and had probably just Justin at the time probably not Evan anyways <clears throat> we be walking and it happened more than once it happened and only with that we be walking we be halfway almost to her place or wherever or over at this other girl's place or wherever we're going we be almost there Let's say, while we're walking, I got a funny feeling Dad's coming in from St. John today. Now, Dad never called. They, When he showed up, they just showed up. Like, they never called Mom. They never. And I'd say, okay. And she goes, why Why did your mom, uh, did he call your mother or something? I said, no, I just got a feeling. Well, guess what? We get to where we're going. Mom calls. Your father's down, so we had to walk back again. And it happened more than once. And my friend always said, oh, you knew, eh? I said, no, no, nobody told me. I just had a feeling. Yeah. He, uh, he used to sneak us money without Audrey knowing, say. So, of course, she's going to want about Because he'd sneak us like $20 or something. That was a lot back then. A $20 bill. And we'd share it. After we leave, we go and man, we would have a great time. To, well, we let it last Saturday and Sunday, two days. But because we couldn't get too much, Mom would know, right? We couldn't tell Mom because she would want it. So. We do things, go out, and she wouldn't know that we had that money. She never got no child support. And he had a good job, but she just didn't want to fight. So she just stayed on welfare. Anyhow, I didn't sleep good. I got a headache. I got a migraine. I told him, I said, I can't. Can't go to work. And when I called her, I said I was up all night. I said I got a I got a migraine. I said I kind of figured he was going to pass on. He was in the hospital last night, and they gave him three days. But if if he was if he could breathe on his own in three days, he would have been okay. But no, he 
He was still on auctions. Auction. They had to paddle him twice, I guess. So his uh, irregular heartbeat. I'm just going by stuff that Justin or er, Justin Evan told me. So yeah. Evan, don't exaggerate. It would have been his mother I was talking to, yeah. She make a mountain out of a molehill, but no, he's he's straight head. His wife is a nurse's aide for a, she's her way up there. She's like the head of something at the hospital, so she works, I'm pretty sure, at that hospital or a senior, I don't know, but she's right up there anyway. She worked her way up. Anyhow. <coughs> <coughs> well, like I need another smoke. Oh, they're killing me with that grass, see? That cut grass. So, oh God. You guys all have a good day and see you tomorrow and it's cigarette time.